friends, it's Stacy with Stacy Makes, and I own a small crochet business called Apple Tree Boutique. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel if you are not new here, and I am so happy that you are here. So, this week, a few things. So, I'm going to cover, um, you guys voted on a poll on YouTube, and it was three different types of videos you wanted to see and it wasn't super overwhelmingly a majority but the one pattern different yarns video won so I did that challenge and then I put up what pattern you guys would like to see that in and the baby cows one so I'm going to be showing you the five different baby cows that I did from Madeline Mako's baby cow pattern I'm also going to be showing you um, a new patterns that I did this week uh, what I made this week and then a little peek into some things that I do that are not crochet related and a special project that I have going on. So I'm also going to try very hard to not edit this video. I'm going to try to show you the raw real time and get through it without blabbering incessantly um, and needing to, you know, edit out something because I said something incorrectly or whatever. So we'll see how that goes. So if this seems a little rougher than before, then that's probably why, but you're also getting the real authentic me and how it is just to film a video with me. So let's start with the baby cow challenge. This was fun. Um, I almost didn't put the baby cow into the poll for this challenge because the baby cows take me about an hour, 10, 15 minutes, and there is some sewing and there's obviously a lot of pieces, no matter what cow you make on the market today, if it's got actual arms, legs, horns, ears it's got pieces and it's just a lot sometimes so this pattern from Madeline Mako was one of her original um, patterns that she created uh, she re-released it because people were wanting it sorry see I itch my face a lot I'm not I may or may not edit that out so but anyway she re-released it I don't know how long ago but I stumbled upon it um, and the original pattern does call for you to sew everything on she has now done a mod on her Instagram. I think it's pinned now, but she's done a mod on her Instagram to show you where you can make it pretty low sew. Um, and in that, she creates another round of um, single crochets in the body. And then tells I think she tells you where to put the ears in a normal round. I do low sew mod this, but I don't add the extra single crochet mod that she does because just another round makes the body even longer and takes longer. Um, so I actually just visually put my arms and my ears on where I want them to line up on the, the sides of the body and I sew them into whatever I'm doing. So if I'm doing a decrease, I do a decrease through the tops of the arms and so on. So that's how I do mine. And so I'm following her pattern and I'm going to start with the largest ones first because I just can't get over how cute all of them are, but especially the small one. It's, oh my gosh, it's adorable. Okay. So this is the biggest one I made, and this is size 7 Jumbo yarn. This is Sweet Snuggles or Parfait XL. It's a combination of both. And what I did on this one was I took, I had a ton of scraps. When I make um, big turtles with this yarn, I get left with just a little bit that you cannot use for um, really a whole nother turtle or shell or anything. So I just pulled all those out and thought, you know what, I'm just going to make a little patchy cow that's just... Um, all different colors. So here he is. My daughter said he reminds, reminds her of Fruit Loops. So he's about, um, he's about a foot tall. Um, and all of these, no matter what size yarn I used, took me the same amount of time. Um, so this is the size seven one. I can't remember. I think these are size um, 18 eyes. I think this guy has on and I mean, it's just, it's super cute. I don't normally, this pattern, I normally make it in brunette blanket and sell it for $24. And I, I like to, when I do a pattern, um, I like to make it, you know, in what maybe I seen it made in and then decide if I, if it's still cute in that size and I can make money at that size, I'll make it in that size. Like Tofu the Turtles, I make them in Parfait Chunky, a smaller yarn and I can get I, the time it takes me I can charge $12 and still make a good profit off of those um, I also make them in Burnett and sell them for just a little bit more but in this particular pattern and patterns that require sewing I feel like I make it in the cutest size that I can but also still make money off of it so I could make it in this size I just 
I, I'm this is not my I love this yarn it is plushy it is soft people love to buy this yarn in plushies but it just leaves so many pieces and so much fur uh, from the yarn just a fluff all over so um anyway so he's cute I might make a few more of these and I'll probably I might sell him for a little bit more than $24 um, just because he is larger than the Burnett blanket ones that I'm going to be taking. So size seven. So cute. Okay. So now we're going to go down to Burnett. This is the Burnett baby. And so you can see already that we're already getting significantly smaller. This is my normal size. Um, he's probably from the tops of his horns down. He's probably right at nine inches possibly. This one might actually be over a foot. So I'm not gonna measure them later. Maybe I'll put it on the screen, maybe I won't. So, you know. So Burnett Blanket, this is the new, um, I think it's Adobe, like the marbled yarn that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. And then I had some Ogo yarn that I had, that just happened to match it, that I had caked out of the Ogos, um, and then some baby sand. I think these are size 16 eyes, I think I did on this one. So this is my normal size. And then we're going to go down to Sweet Snuggles Light. So Sweet Snuggles Light is technically the same size yarn. Um, it's a size 6. I do use, sorry, I should say, I used a size 7 hook on this. My Burnett Blankets, I use 6.5. And, and Sweet Snuggles, I use a 5.5 most of the time. Sorry, see, I itched my face again. Um, <laughs> okay, and but he is plushier and it just a little... It's just got a different quality of texture. And I feel like I could probably sell Sweet Snuggles for 24 next to these. And people wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, it's so much smaller and so much more expensive. But um, super cute. So here's these two as they go down. So we're going to go from Sweet Snuggles down to Posh. Which Posh, when it originally came out, the, um, the skeins were labeled size 6. And I think that we went back now and someone had contacted Joann's and they said that was a mistake. It's actually size 5 yarn. Um, but I do, I use a five and a half hook for this, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I use a four and a half for Posh. So he is so small. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Um, from the top to the bottom, I mean, look at my, look at him compared to my hand. He's pretty much the size of my hand. It's just adorable. He's probably right at like six inches, maybe. Here he is compared to the Jumbo. <laughs> it is just, Okay. Cracks me up. Okay, so this is Posh, super tiny. I mean, the same mod, I sew them all the same way, right? Same, just different hook, different yarn. These are probably, um, these are probably size 14 eyes, I would guess. I think these are size 14, so I did change the eyes. My son picked out these colors. He said it's a mint cow, so super cute. Oh my gosh, and then just when I didn't think that this pattern and the smallness could get any cuter. Um, I got my baby bear yarn in and I didn't buy a ton of it because when I don't work with very, very small yarn very often, just because it makes such tiny things. And although they are adorable, um, they just take just as much time as the big things and they're just harder to market. So I didn't buy a lot, but I did find two coordinating colors and one other color, which was blue. Um, and I, so I bought it in peach and, um, I think it was like Sunrise Multi or something, and it's like the white that has the peach in it, and I'll show it to you in just a minute. So, Posh, four and a half millimeter hook. Okay, so then we went down to Baby Bear, and oh my goodness, I mean, Baby Bear is just, <laughs> he's so cute. Um, I think this is size 12 eyes, um, and I need to let roll these, sorry. Um, <clears throat> size 12 eyes. He's probably like right at, he might be six inches tall. I'll maybe try to measure these and put it up on the screen so you guys can get a little bit of perspective. But I think my hand does a pretty good job of that and letting you realize how, how small they are. But my kids just adore this one. I mean, it's just been a favorite for everyone to grab and, and just make a pouty sad. Oh my gosh, he's so cute face. And, um, he's just so cute that like I said before though the hard part is is that he is just as much work as he is and you know trying to market that and try to get the same amount of money out of them you know without you know losing money I can't sit and, and losing money you know on this so 
Um, let's try, um, I'll try to set up a picture and then insert it into the screen where you guys can see them all lined up because I do not think that I can physically hold them all. I don't think I can. I might be able to. Ah, I can't and get them lined up very well. I was going to try to maybe line up their feet or something, so, but that's just not going to work. But smallest to the largest, here they are. Super adorable. And so I did make these five. Actually, I made only this one I had already made, so I'd already done that one. So these four went into my inventory of what I made this week. Um, and I'm just going to write down $24, but I may or may not increase that one and decrease the small one just because, um, or let my one of my kids have this one because they just adored it. So that is the baby cow, one pattern, different yarns, five different yarns. And so that's just so cute. Okay. Um, we'll move on to new patterns that I tried this week. There wasn't very many um, new things I did try. See, I itched my face again. That's a counter. I think it's three now. Um, <laughs> uh, Madeline Mako, I love her. If you've seen my videos before, you hear me talk about Madeline Mako. Obviously, all of those cows were her patterns, but I had this teeny duck slash mallard forever, and I hadn't done it yet. And my boys are duck hunters and just adore ducks and actually I sold out of every single mallard I had at the last market so I made this duck super quick make compared to the baby cows it is like the same size this is Burnett um, so as you can see they're just about the same size they're both te teeny or baby size in her patterns um, but the only thing you know you have to you have to make these wings ahead of time and this um, you have to sew on this beak and outside of that there's no ears there's no horns the legs obviously connect in the pattern and it's just super cute and so I think I'm gonna do um, I think I want to try 24 on him even though he did take a little less time than the cow just because you know I kind of have an hourly range I try to hit and so he'll just hit in the higher part of my hourly range but he's the same size as the cow and a lot of people just don't understand that because the cow has more pieces that I need to charge more so if I can just set all of the teeny animals up together then they'll look good together so this is something new I tried Malamaco's pattern clarity is always great. Her outcomes are always cute. I did add the eye highlights and the, I don't remember if her eyebrows were on her pattern or not, just to add a little extra to his face. And um, marketability, I think they're, they are great. Um, I was grabbed, you know, last week, if you saw my challenge, I was grabbing scrap yarns or less than really small skeins out of my yarn cabinet and trying to use some of those yarns. And this particular all, all of these colors happen to end up in my basket, and I'm like, those are mallard colors, so I can make a mallard. So, as you'll see, I'll made some other mallards, too, out of my scraps. So, new pattern this week. Super great. Super cute. It's one thing I made. And then I did make this Sleepy Dino. Um, I'm not absolutely in love with this pattern, and there are some hiccups with the way that um, his head's kind of a little turned, and his spikes aren't completely straight. He was made out of my scrap yarn bin. Um, this pattern was a free pattern, um, but I did make it no sew by creating all of these arms and limbs ahead of time and sewing them into the round that I thought they needed to be in. in. Um, and I did just completely struggle with getting these spikes centered down his body, um, but they're kind of off centered along with his head, which kind of tilted. Um, so anyway, um, not my favorite thing I've ever made. Clarity of the pattern. Obviously, I didn't do the pattern like it was supposed to be done. The outcome, I'm kind of eh. I think I could modify this and, and create something that could be usable for sure, but definitely not the pattern the way it was written. But And I think it will be marketable if I can get it down to a science and, and perfect it a little bit. So I'm going to keep working on that one. But this Sleepy Dino, I'm going to do 16 on him. Okay, and the last new pattern I tried this week was... I. I've seen everybody making the loaf cats and they are adorable. My daughter is making them for the markets. And so a lot of times if I know that she's obsessed with something and making a ton, I don't get into that same pattern just because I can make something else that she won't make and we can have more variety. But I did find I was again working on my Burnett blanket scrap bin and I was trying to bust through some of those colors and found this pattern for this little mini loaf cat for free on Instagram from my universe 64. I think it's what it is. Um, I will link it obviously below. Um, but I timed myself on this pattern and it literally takes me right under 20 minutes to make one of these guys. And it is just, it's adorable. Oh my gosh. I set with my scrap yarn and I made four of these guys. Um, the last one, this one is my favorite. I love his face the most. 
I'm gonna use my chin to just get it picked up. The last one I was trying to make kind of a scrappy cat and somewhere in there I ran out of yarn so his whole butt's you know he's kind of a clearance cat but <laughs> and his face is a little off-centered because of the way I think I color changed and pulled one of the pieces too tight inside but either way I made four of these um, they take me right at 20 minutes and I think because of their size um, and that people just love cats and the comparable to my other small things that I make that I'm gonna keep I'm gonna think I'm gonna charge 10 for these which is a which would be a really profitable item if I can sell them for 10. Um, they are a really great size. I mean, they fit in my hand like this. I mean, and they're, I, I just love them. My, my husband loves them, which a lot of times when my husband loves a pattern, he's like, oh my gosh, you make tons of those. They don't seem to sell, but I think, um, I think this one will. He's like, I like it, so it probably won't sell, but you know, anyway, super cute um, pattern. I'll probably make at least three or four, I mean, I still have my scrap bin on, I'm still working through some of it, so I'll probably grab what other um, cat, or just some fun colors, cats don't have to be cat colors, but, so I did make those four, I'm going to charge 10 for them, that's $40, that was my other new pattern, oh, Pattern Clarity, by the way, um, it's free on Instagram, Pattern Clarity was great, um, the outcome, super adorable, I made it just like the pattern says, except for, she tells you to put the eyes in round four to five, which four to five is one, two, three, four to five is all the way up here where the ears are. And the eyes just don't make sense there. Um, so I put them uh, between two and three on these. And I think on another one, I put them a little higher and put them between three and four, but I definitely did not put them between four and five, just as an FYI. But the clarity of the pattern outside of where the eyes go was great. I think it's brand new, so she might add a note if anyone, I might comment on it. Sorry, it's touched my face again. Um, I might comment on it and let her know that the eyes in round four to five just didn't make sense for me and have her check it um, and see if she wants to modify it or not. Marketability, um, great. I mean, I, th I think as long as people fall in love with those and then having the bigger loaf cats next to them for, I don't know how much she's charging, 16 or 18 for those, maybe 20. I don't know, they're a lot, quite a bit bigger, so they might be 20 uh, for those. So other things I made this week that were not new, um, scrap bin busting. I have a I have a whole other skein of this, but I had a little over half a skein of this uh, old dynamite baby blanket colorway by Burnett, and I love this elephant, and I have sold every single one of them I've ever made. Um, I've made four or five of them, I think, um, and so I'm like, I gotta have some for my next market. So these are on my list. So I just don't like to make everything all at one time. So super cute elephant. This is Madeline Mako as well, and I I used to charge 24 for these, but because they are so much see where my baby cow is they are a little bigger than the baby cow these are teeny animals I think and these are um big big maybe I'll have to look it might still be teeny but anyway my um light went out again so hold on see things that we don't edit right oh, we'll just move on here and my may or may not leave this in here whatever okay my light went out Okay, um, other things I made that are not new patterns. Elephant, I, I used to do 24, but I think I'm gonna go up to 26 because I think that the size warrants it and I don't have any problem selling them at 24. Um, they're flying off the shelves at that price. Um, other scrap buster thing I did this week that I already said, I, other mallards, I sell these little chubby mallards for 10. Two of those, and then I made a little tiny octo for my $5 bin out of my scraps as well. So. Um, that is all of my um, things I made this week for market inventory. Let me show you. Oh, sorry. I may or may not edit that out depending on how my stomach looked in that video. <laughs> okay, so I told you I was going to cover um, something that I don't normally, um, so I don't just obviously crochet. Me and my daughter um, own used to own an art studio where we did art classes for kids. We took it over from uh, somebody who had it here in town. My daughters love art. Uh, we bought it. We were running classes in the evenings, um, two to three days a week, all evening long, plus the planning and the lesson planning and stuff after two years. We did we did close it down and we hated to do that because we absolutely loved that time with the kids, but it did not become something that we could just do full time either. So um, I'm gonna read this light because it's just, sorry. Better there. Oh, no, not better there. 
that whole thing fell. Hold on just a second. My very not professional setup over here where I have my lights hanging out on <laughs> hanging out on plastic bins because you know you know we cheap we cheap over here um let's see okay that's just gonna be good enough I think it's as high as it goes oh you're seeing it in the, the screen okay and I could probably turn it off but I just get dark and I get kind of lost in the shadows of this room so um let's see maybe this is the only one on there we'll just go back to that one okay back to what I was saying we used to own an art studio we did art classes and then we have done some we've painted some walls we my daughter has done a mural before and that I just came and helped she told me what to do she painted that completely on her own um uh, it, not really a mural so much as it was an interactive parrot that was on this wall which if I find a picture I'll put it up here but we did this together it was amazing I loved doing it um and so we've done one other wall <clears throat> for a local business where we painted um my daughter drew these outlined faces it's for a health and beauty place and we painted um these face outlines that all miss um all wove together if I can find a picture of that I'll put up here and then the last two years in the and during Christmas time we have painted windows Christmas themed windows for people in town um, just to kind of help decorate our town a little bit more and that has been super fun so we also have a mural that we are going to be doing in our town on one of our corners uh, we've primed the wall and hopefully this spring summer we'll get a chance to work on that and finish that for our town and that whole wall is, is huge but we're just doing a section at a time so we'll see how that goes so <clears throat> in that um a friend of ours opened up an ice cream shop slash bakery um in our town last year was their first year open and this year they're open april to october and so after they closed in october they had a really great season and they remodeled and opened up more of the space. <clears throat> Excuse me. They remodeled and opened up more of their space. And in doing so, they had some big blank walls that they asked us to come in and look at. Um, so we came in and came up with an idea um, for this wall because you walk in the front door and you just, you see counter and stuff, but there's just this great big blank wall behind all of the counter that has machines and stuff on it that has, it's pink because pink, bubblegum pink is one of their primary colors. So I'm, going to insert a video of um Um, that is the last thing. So that is everything I made this week. I will tell you, I didn't make as many things this week as I normally make. Um, I made 15 items that will go into my market inventory for a total of $237. I made one tiny, six smalls, seven mediums, and one large. So, um, I, obviously that's, I mean, it's good. Anything I add to my inventory is great. The, our first show or our next show is two weeks from yesterday it's just here in our small town we're just set up on a Saturday on our, our town square and uh, there will be nobody there with anything probably like what we do just because it's um, it's our just local people and vendors and things like that but we're <clears throat> excuse me right in the path of the eclipse totality of like an extra long amount of time here so we're having a festival and hoping that people come to our area for the eclipse and join us. So um, I think that's it for this week. Hopefully I was able to not edit. I, of course, I obviously did not plan for a huge light fail and um, things to fall and so on for this video. So I may or may not leave that in there. If you don't see it, then I did edit this video. Anyway, 
I think that's it for this week. Thank you for getting this far. Um, I didn't have a whole lot more to report this week for you guys, but hopefully you enjoyed seeing the baby cow in different sizes and um, the new stuff that I made this week. And we'll catch you next week, guys. Happy crocheting. Have a great week. Like and subscribe if you like this video. Obviously, that helps my channel um, tremendously, and I appreciate all that. And see, I didn't even cry this week. If you missed me getting emotional and tearing up last week, you can go watch that. That's, you know, it was raw and authentic <laughs> as well. But I love you guys, and I cannot believe my channel has grown this much. I just love doing what I do here on this channel with you guys. And comment below uh, what size baby cow was your favorite this week or which yarn you, you liked seeing the most or maybe there's other yarns you want to see in that baby cow lineup to see how they compare to the other ones and we'll see what we can do about that so we'll talk to you guys next week have a great week happy crocheting and that's it